there in the high slot area, Zach Erdahl read it perfectly, Mike. And here's the penalty shot by Zach Erdahl. Erdahl, the left shot. This is the first penalty shot all season long for the Mavericks. Here comes Erdahl, strides ahead, picks it up at the dot. Wide to the left side, now to the circle, in between, a shot, score! Zach Erdahl, penalty shot, goal, Omaha leads, one nothing. Beautiful move by Zach Erdahl, stayed on the forehand, just a little shoulder dip, and deep found the five hole, got to buy Matt Davis, that fish comes out on the ice, emblematic of Omaha. Here's the bump back for Buckberger. Intercepted, Tanner Lucky off a of feed. Here comes Lucky, dash to the right side. Gets to the top of the circle. Curls, drags, looks out front, and it's broken up by the goaltender. A good play, and now the Pioneers will counterattack. Overhead of the left side for Kane. Dances inside to check, a shot at a star. Off the rebound, and it's gonna be a hooking call, but scoring the goal is Denver. Just as Omaha went to the power play, it's going to be a shorthanded goal for the Pioneers as getting this one leading down the line is going to be Boston Buckberger, his first shorthanded goal. Pioneers eighth of the season, which leads the nation. Again, those defensemen, even as that penalty ended, it was still pretty much a four-on-four. Four. The Omaha technically had the man advantage. Buckberger, defenseman. Around the boards, off a of bounce. Here comes the Land City overskate of the puck. Divine with it. He'll shoot it. Hits the crossbar. A rebound drive. Sky high and wide. Denver rings the bell, but doesn't score. Webster, left side corner. Put it out high. Divine to the right circle. A one-timer, and it's in the back of the net. Thompson, it's a power play goal. It's a five on three power play goal. And Denver has a 2-1 lead. Good attack zone time, obviously, by uh, Denver. As rifling that puck in on the far side, Aiden Thompson on a one-timer. We'll see it on NCHC TV set up uh, very effectively with a beautiful move there. Thompson, that's his sixth of the season, third of the power play. Third round draft pick of Chicago. Oh, to the circle for Mueller, bumped it back to Griffin Lucky. Griffin, head up, left circle for Tanner. Cross rink, Mueller, one time for score! Ty Mueller, it's a power play goal, and we are tied at two. There's Ty Mueller, what a shot, a one-timer. Oh, did he get rid of that quickly. Oh, did the Vancouver Canucks draft pick show some NHL quickness with that release and firepower there as it rolled into the back of the net, shot along the ice. This game is tied with 11.26 left in the second period. Davey Noel Bernier, coach of that power play, assistant, associate head coach of the Mavs. Your unit did well there, as we'll see it on the replay, as there's the setup and there's Mueller. At the top of the... He'll bring it to the offensive zone. Sweeps it into the corner, too far for Lansdale. Bulliam tied up along the backboards, bumped it middle of the rink. Pioneers come to the neutral zone. Here's a pass to Rizzo. Blue line, right wing, top of the circle. There's the drop pass. Coming after that, Webster shot and stop a rebound, driving a score. Pioneers retake the lead. Divine Rizzo, McCade Webster, the number one line, just using their speed and outnumbering the Mavs at the net front. And Omaha not able to sort them out as Jack Devine, a big scorer, goes to that net front and finishes the rebound. And Denver breaks through uh, building, uh, regaining the lead three to two as we see it on NCC TV. There's Webster with the initial shot and that was easy picking for Jack Devine. Right hand to shot. Face off is tied up, down low Devine. On the back wall, still has the right wing circle. Peels out high at the blue line, sees part for him. Drifts to the left side, cross ring deflected and a score. I think that must, that may have hit Griffin Lucky and bounced in, but the Pioneers have a two goal lead. Couple of uh, crazy uh, goals for Denver uh, in this game, and as you said, the two goal lead. They're gonna say Webster. But Devine, uh, just making his presence felt. We'll see it on the replay. As uh, McCain Webster's on the back. Behind the cage, Krenzen looking for some help. Mueller in for him. 
And now Omaha brings it to the left side. At the red line, Tanner Lucky kicks it to a stick and dumped it in behind the cage. Davis settles it down for his defenseman. Wrapped up the wall and sky to neutral. On the back play, Mancini taken away from him by Rizzo. It's a two on three on one. Rizzo looks, waits a back to a pass and a score divine by the one timer and it's now a three goal lead. Number one line continuing to kill Omaha tonight off the turnover. Rizzo and Devine, Devine putting that one home off the stick of a Rizzo, Devine, a right-handed shot, so he's, well, we'll wait for the replay to come up. And there's a Jack Devine from Glencoe, Illinois, Chicago land, and you can see he's prepared to receive that puck, and he finds it, and peel back through roll wagon and deep in the Denver zone. Back wall play, Buckberger, away from Mitchell, Lutke. Reads it, sends it back in behind the net, but it's Ashcroft on the take. Here's Devine, right side, coming ahead, Rizzo. Top of the right wing circle, looking for the trailer. He found Webster, cross wing, a one timer oh, to stop that time. Off the one timer by Isley, a rebound drive and a score. Rizzo between the circles at a good feed, and it's 6 2. Rizzo with that quick release from Burnaby, British Columbia. And he's a left handed shot, he's in the perfect shooting area. We'll see an NCHC TV replay of that goal after a brilliant save by Seth Isley earlier, but uh, that number one line uh, dominant, putting on one of the really fine performances by a line when I think back of 27 years of teams coming into Omaha, whether it's the Civic Auditorium, down at the big building downtown, or here at Baxter Arena. As there's that sparkling save, Seth Isley with that, but the creativity of Denver. Out there for Omaha. Face off one, back to Griffin at the left point. He'll come to the bid, left circle for Tanner Lucky. Down low, Miller, a shot stopped at the post. Loose puck in the crease, deflected score! It's a power play goal, and I think Ty Mueller got it, his second of the night. Jesse Lansdell there, Omaha getting the puck down low, so there's one back. Well, Lansdell's gonna walk the line first. He had the initial shot at it as, as it was in the blue paint. Omaha doing a great job getting that into the skates of Denver goaltender Matt Davis. No matter what happens the rest of the way here, file that away for tomorrow evening in the finale. But we're not done here yet. 6-3, Denver, 9-19 left in the third period. Lindsay Hood assist back uh, last Friday against North Dakota, scores his second goal of the season. This one of the power play, Omaha back to work in the offensive end. Sullivan tied up along the back wall. Two on two is the battle for the puck.